Hi, my name is Mateusz Krupinski and I am Technical Solution Architect for Cisco SD-1. In this video I'm going to show how easy it is to granularly see traffic to Umbrella Secure Internet Gateway by matching applications or variety of other criteria, leveraging Cisco SD-1 centralized data policy. But first, let's discover why would you like to do this and recap on ready gate informations. In the previous video we've presented how straightforward it is to integrate Cisco SD-1 solution with Cisco SIG called Umbrella, where we automatically created a pair of encrypted primary and secondary tunnels established directly with Umbrella Cloud. Looking further into traffic redirection options towards secure internet gateways, we used to think about traditional methods like via service routes where customers were forced to use workflow not allowing them to selectively steer specific applications or traffic of interest to SIG. Instead, it was catch-all policy, which applies to every traffic from the one edge, resulting in less control over the flowing data. And now, with introducing centralized data policy-based traffic steering as a powerful tool allowing administrators to override the normal forwarding actions that would occur in a data plane, we provide more flexibility for those customers, allowing to leverage existing data policy constructs such as applications, prefixes and more to match traffic based on those conditions and send securely to SIG. Let's see this in action. We start off at the vManage configuration template section where we can easily confirm that the SIG template defining the tunnel parameters as well as C credentials, are already attached to the router. Then moving further to the monitoring dashboard, you are exposure to the aggregated details information about already created through the SIG automation tunnels, including their status. Jumping over to the Umbrella network tunnel configuration, you can validate as well that mentioned tunnels are successfully established with the closest to the router Umbrella data centers. With all the connections verified, you wish to finally selectively control which internet bond traffic from users at our site will be sent to the umbrella for inspection. In order to achieve that goal, let's configure a centralized data policy to allow administrators to override the normal forwarding decisions that would occur at specific router and define set of match and action conditions that would be performed instead. Let's look at the policy we need to redirect specific application traffic to the SIG. First, you can match application of interest along with other parameters, which will send that access corporate user traffic to Umbrella for investigation. If you wish to intercept any other data, you can simply add additional sequences. As per shown use case here, we decided further to break out all guest Wi-Fi users traffic directly to the internet by selecting NatVPN DAA option. With that saved, we can now apply this data policy to selected sites of interest and corresponding VPN segments for data coming directly from users. Once we confirm that config, we are taken back to the centralized policy list section where we can activate one policy at a time to act on the entire SD-1 fabric. When vManage has completed pushing the configuration to vSmart, hence it's centralized, our data policy intent will be sent immediately in the format of a routing update to the previously selected routers. Looking now at the host machine, we can see that currently redirected application traffic is not blocked by any of the SIG functions. Back on Umbrella dashboard, Let's have a look then at web security policy applied to all tunnels automatically from the umbrella dashboard by specifying the target of the policy to be all tunnels. In our example, we predefined our web rules at rules to block traffic going to variety of applications, including Facebook. By enabling that rule, you immediately will start to see that the corrective action is performed for still by centralized data policy traffic. To validate this, let's first jump back to the host again, where we can confirm that selected application access is now restricted due to our content filtering setup. Next, whilst having a look at the activity search in Umbrella dashboard, 
you clearly see that the indeed only Facebook traffic was directed by SD1 Fabric to SIG and ultimately inspected as per our intention. Imagine now, this simple one centralized SD1 policy applied to hundreds of routers at the same time allowing you to selectively redirect traffic to the secure internet gateway over automatically created tunnels. It makes for a very simple, highly secure and automated SASE solution. In a future video, we'll show you how easy it is to steer user data over all active SIG tunnels to achieve fair low balancing. Thanks for listening.